think I fought all my life for this This one part, this one third I Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a two-part video. So to start off with this look, we are doing our pre-surgery look and we're just lining this with white eyeliner and then going over with latex and all the places that we want to make the incisions for our post-surgery. I did about eight layers of latex and then let it fully dry before I put my foundation on. Now I'm just adding in the makeup basics like contour, blush, a bit of highlight and some eyeshadow. And then we'll go in with black eyeliner and mark out where our incisions are going to be. To mark everything out, I'm using an eyeliner pen but you could just use body paint or use a small brush with eyeliner on it. Um, and I'm using a reference picture by Mikey from Glam & Gore who did this look just to get, you know, where I want the arrows and everything because hers looked absolutely amazing. So I pretty much just copied that. Oh, I can forgive, can forget myself the peace that I'm missing, it kills me inside I need help, oh please give me back Now for the lips I had to use this shade by Jeffree Star It's just a perfect Barbie pink which I think is a great colour for when you're just about to head into surgery So that is part one if you just wanted to wear this look and not cut at all, um, then you would need to obviously lay down the latex. But now we're going to jump into part two and start cutting all the latex. To get into the latex, I used a toothpick just to pick a hole in first so you're not um, having scissors right against your skin. So that's also another safety thing. Just be really careful when you're using scissors so close to your face. Now that we've finished all the incisions, I'm going to go back in with black and red eyeshadow inside the wounds just to give them a bit of dimension before we add all the bloods and the shading and everything. I'm now shading around the wounds just to show irritation and bruising. This is the fun part, so I'm now adding scab blood to all the incisions of the wounds and then we'll go back in with the liquid blood and just go crazy.
Now it's time for the liquid blood. This is probably like one of the most important steps towards the end because it just brings the whole look to life. So don't be afraid to use heaps of blood, like get, get heaps of drips and add it in places like your nose and, and things like that just to really make everything come together. I then just use the sponge to spread out some of the blood because, you know, you don't bleed perfectly. I think the surgery worked out really well. I look younger. And that's the finished look, guys. I really hope you love this video and this gave you some inspiration for Halloween. Let me know what ideas you've got for Halloween this year and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.